What's going on everybody, Michael McWhorter here. Today we're going to go ahead and review some more AI tools. Awesome tech that you can use in your daily life to make your life a little bit better. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Please be sure to stick to the end of the video though, because these AI tools, they progressively get better as time elapses. There's usually one, one really good one in there that we stumble across. Each video, it seems, each video we do with these has a great one. So we'll see if this video is the same. Let's go guys. All right, this is my stomping ground. This is futuretools.io, the website owned by Matt Wolf. This is a really cool website where you can find a lot of future AI tools. Basically, let's take future AI tools out of it and just call them AI tools. They do things in here such as finance, generative video, motion capture, marketing, research prompt, text to speech, you name it. Anything under the sun these AI tools can do for you. There's about 2,500 of them and uh, I like to sort them by most uploaded. Refresh the page here because this is super backwards. Bam, there we go. We're ready to rock. We got about 8,000 upvotes on this one, 5,000 upvotes on this one, and I have seen them before with close to 13,000, 12,000 upvotes. I'm going to scroll through and pick up where we've left off because we've been reviewing these AI tools for a while now. If you would like to see these AI tools are, that I'm passing by right now be reviewed by me, just check out my channel. I have reviewed all of these AI tools before. I do pretty good reviews on them, pretty energetic. And if you appreciate all the hard work, I could super duper use a like on this video. So like I said, without further ado, let's pick up where we left off. All right, starting right off the bat, we got QuizBot AI. QuizBot is an AI generator that revolutionizes test creation. It offers multiple questions, types, and levels, allowing you to create different versions of tests. You can create generate questions based on text, links, or videos. That is quite nice. It supports exams like the SAT, GC, IGCSE, IELTS, TOEFL, AP, and A-Level. Like, I know exactly what those are, because I, I definitely do. There are multiple templates you can do. There's tons of quizzes and exams. Let's just get right in there. Boom, this is what the home page looks like. So when you look at this page, you can see that they got a dashboard set up right here. And with that dashboard, sees how many words you have used today, what kind of plan you're on, how many images you have used. Very, very basic. Extremely easy with this nice chart to follow. Let's get to the AI questions. There are a lot of questions here such as multiple choice, open-ended, true, false, calculations, and, uh, you know, gardeners. A wide variety of ways to test and quiz. This one looks pretty good here. Being a savvy with AI, you will understand that you can put a Word PDF or text document. You can use this template to create multiple choice questions from any text PDF or Word document. We're going to go ahead and use this one. Don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot of moving parts. It's really simple. This part basically just repeated itself right here, and we're just going to get down to the PDF part. We're going to do Word PDF. We're going to select that there. How many questions? Questions. Let's go ahead and do eight questions. Level. Eh, we're not in elementary school. Let's let's put it up in high school uh, education. Now nah, we're gonna put it in the university level. Let's get up there. Multiple choice questions. Option count. We'll do four and include answers. Just answers. Yeah, we don't want to make it too complex. Answers and explanations. So you can see what we're doing here is we're working down the line, developing our quiz for our PDF file or text-based file, whatever file that we're gonna use. Now paste your text into this window. Paste your text. Paste your text into this window or use the button below to upload your document. Outstanding. So you can have a 30,000 word long thing, document, quiz, whatever, and you can type it all in there or just copy and paste it all in there if you want to. Another option is to upload the PDF or file up to 10 pages. We're gonna choose a file and we're gonna use the impact of artificial intelligence on the IT sector. That's one of my favorite scholarly articles. And we will, um, we're gonna have we're going to make it difficult and the language is going to be English. Let's see what happens when we generate this quiz. Here you can see it's working. This nice loading bar allows us. Oh, and here it is. Here they go. And bam, all that, just like that in a matter of seconds. That is remarkable. Let me show you the quiz, pardon me, the PDF it is referring to. This is a nice PDF right here. I like this PDF. The impact of artificial intelligence and information technologies on the efficiency of knowledge management at modern organization. A systematic review. It goes in to talk about how AI is going to disrupt the sectors and all these other things and what's going to happen. The methodology is used, has a lot of charts. For the most part, it's it's rather in-depth. It's got a, It's got a good to it here. Let's get back to our questions here. What is the main purpose of implementing IT and AI concepts in modern organizations? Probably to automate tasks. That'd be my guess. I wonder if you can actually answer these down here. Oh, to improve optimal efficiency, operational efficiency. I got it wrong, but the answers are down there. So if you are the teacher or professor, you can take these and just paste them somewhere and then take all of this and submit the quiz questions with it. You, you can basically copy this segment while leaving this part out and have a quiz just like that in a matter of moments. This is going to be awesome for like elementary teachers, even middle school teachers that just say, hey, I need to, I need to whip up a quiz real quick like, and then 
I'm just gonna give them a hardcover book or I'm gonna print off this PDF text and I'm going to go ahead and then make a quiz using this AI for that physical text and let them only use pen and paper and the text that I provided them to answer these questions to see if they can deduce the information from the, the, the text, the study material. This is gonna save so much time. Now, of course, if the students in an unsupervised setting use their phones to look up these answers, I'm sure you can. Like, let's let's take a copy of this right here, right? Let's let's just go ahead, copy this like that. Control copy. We're gonna go over to ChatGPT, the general, the general thing, and we're gonna paste it in here, and we're gonna see what general ChatGPT says. Woo! Look at that! It even got it better. Therefore, while each of these objectives contributes to the rationale behind implementing IT in AI organizations, the overarching goal often includes improving efficiency, productivity, and strategic outcomes, making B to improve operational efficiency a comprehensive choice if one must choose the primary purpose. However, it's important to recognize that all of these are interconnected. So yeah, that's that's why that was such a difficult question. That's why I got it wrong. That's why I got it wrong. Remember, I put, the, uh, put it on difficult here. Cut me some slack. So there you have it. That's pretty wild. This is pretty much the the bread and butter. This section over here, all this and this blue area off to the right, two thirds of the screen to the right, is mainly the bread and butter of the organization operation. I want to show you these taskbar, toolbar things on the side here. You can see you can save your some of your documents. You can favorite some of your documents, but you can put them in folders, things like that. There's even things that help you create AI questions, AI tutors, so you can have virtual tutors created with AI, like Jennifer Newton, Barry Orwell, Victoria Goss, Timothy Einstein. That's pretty, pretty funny if you know what they're doing there. They're switching the names up. And let's go, let's go ahead and chat with Timothy Einstein. For example, here's our quota. We've already used 270 words of the 1500 words allowed, and I think that resets every couple of months or something like that. Maybe it's every month. It's probably every month. That's usually most the way most of these AI tools work. It says, hi, my name is Michael Einstein. Ooh, it's got the got the name wrong, though. It's supposed to be Timothy Einstein. I'm a physics teacher. I'm here to help you with your studies and homework. Let us send a message. Hello. Oh, and there's even a voice to text button here. So instead of typing, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to, I'm going to talk to it. Give it some access to the microphone. Hello. Would you please tell me about the laws that govern our universe? Tell me about the laws that govern our universe. My name's Neil deGrasse Tyson and astronomy is astounding. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's fast. Yeah, there you go. Bam. Ah, hello. I'm glad you're interested in the laws that govern our universe. There are several fundamentals that play a crucial role in understanding. Here's my question right there, obviously. And it says, Newton's law of motion, law of the universal gravitation, conservational law. So yes, very in-depth physics answers. And you can also have things about English answers, or chemistry, or career counselor, or computer science. Really nice. There's audio to text too. So like, like I said, you could just speak, speak and have it. But here's the really cool part. Upload an MP3, MP4, MPEG. MPEGA, M4A, WAV file, WAVM, allowed <laughs> WEBM file, and it will decipher that audio transcription, such as here, it says it takes a while, and then turn all of that sorted video, like a YouTube video or something, and turn it into a interactable text-based format. It's so wild, text to audio. This is pretty simple, you just type in it, it speaks, everybody knows about that. And then let's go over these purchase plans right here. Albert Einstein, got $9. Yeah, Maria Curry got $18, and Isaac Newton, you got $40. <laughs> Recommended $40, you know. A lot of cool stuff here. Whoa! Recommended Nikola Tesla, the $504 package. Oh my gosh. So QuizBot, it gets uh, pretty expensive there. But the free trial with $1,500 is pretty good for a quick, you know, once a week type thing or, or however many characters you need to use. But look, text to audio, 0 of 200. Let's go back to audio to text, 0 of 200. Let's go to AI questions, 563 of 1500. Let's go to AI tutors. So AI tutors and AI questions are all part of the 1500 program. AI images, you can upload five images. You can, okay, AI code, tutors, and questions are all part of the 1500 word. AI images on their own are five. Audio to text and text to audio are 200. This is a very easy app to use. I like how intuitive this is. And there's a membership plan here. You see the current plan. It's free. It's the trial plan. No problem there. Invoices, obviously. And then the profile and the settings will log out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool app. I'll go ahead and upvote that one because I like that. I like how it really puts stuff together in a nice, tangible way for teachers and quizzes and professors. <laughs> really cool right there. Quiz by AI. Really cool one. Again, on the Future Tools website. All right, another one right off the bat that's really fire right now is BBAI. BBAI is an AI platform that provides in-depth financial analysis of public companies. Oh, here, here it comes. It offers concise and valuable insights by analyzing 
earnings, call transcripts, and other financial data. Users can enter the name of a company to access its earnings, call transcripts, and basically, I'm Warren Buffett, and, uh, you know, I like vending machines. <laughs> Just kidding, Warren. Love you, Warren. No, but really. To me, the necessity for action in investing is one of the most dangerous of all beliefs. Howard Marks. BB, simplify your investment analysis. This is an investing AI tool. You can get key numbers, analysis questions, market sentiment, strategic insight. It also suggests questions based on meeting records and allows users to compose their own questions and insights. BB AI offers a free experience and supports a wide range of companies, including those listed on the S&P 500. Now, before we dive too much into this, I'm just going to make a quick disclaimer. I, myself, am not a financial expert in this is not financial advice. Obviously, I have to cover my butt. And then BBAI is probably not a financial expert, and this is not financial advice. However, this is some stuff that we saw and seems pretty awesome, so why not check it out and see if it can't like review some stuff? So I mean this is this is this they're not trying to really sell you anything. This is just free information from AI's insights. You can see they got AI for business pricing. Obviously, it does cost if you want to use it in its extensiveness. But then you got sign up login, and basically, we're just gonna look at the free stuff. That's what we do. We're here for the free stuff. Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, Google, Nvidia, Meta, Apple. You can see the pop polarizing companies. Update time, up to date. Got an AI score of 98.91. Influential CIO, uh, CEOs. Got AI score 1,302. Elon Musk is up there with upvotes. And then competitive companies like Etrenew Incorporated, ZTO Express. Apple, Dex.com with these AI scores. You can got more tabs down here so you can actually look further into each of these. Recommended Q&A. What is the focus of, th of the document? The focus of the document is on discussing the business outlook and making forward-looking statements regarding the company. The company. What is the role of CUDA in accelerating data processes and manipulation in AI? Very cool. Look, there's, there's just a lot. There's just a lot right here. Very cool stuff. What are the key metrics that showed the growth and engagement of Billy Billy's user community in the third quarter of 2023. The key metrics that showed the growth and engagement of Billy Billy's user community in the third quarter of 2023. Active users, 14%. Monthly activity, 13%. Still, just so much good stuff there. Risks and opportunities. MetLife has a, uh, pretty, pretty much a, just about a... Uh, 33% chance of risk, but 66% chance of opportunity. Let's see if we can't find something terrible. BD, 24% chance risk. 24 ticker risk and a 9 chance opportunity, which is kind of just like regarding AI insights, basically what this is saying is, you know, these companies are probably with information provided on the web and actual insights taken from artificial intelligence, those two things combined, in addition to current trending technical analysis and market analysis and reviews and quarterly earning reports and blah, 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 blah. All the information kind of points to, okay, this, this is probably going to do good. All right, this one's probably going to do bad. Things of that nature. Latest ECT. Apple Incorporated. Apple Q1 2024. Apple reported revenue of 119 point. Six billion for the December quarter, up two percent from a year ago. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then here's odd thing, awesome top movers exploring the why behind the top stocks movements, not just the rise and fall. Top movers, really cool. Meta, of course, the freaking on the back and strong Q4 earnings and revenues beat S4 Meta. Let's just click it. Let's just see what's going on here. Oh, you gotta sign in to see all the stuff. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Let's, let's, uh, let's sign up if we can, if it lets us for free. Ah, oh, it doesn't let us. That's okay. You can't sign up with your Google account because BB has not yet completed the Google verification process. And that might just be an indicator right there. Um, this AI obviously has just came out. AI is kind of the new rage. So AI apps like this are currently fresh and up and coming. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. AI is the future. Don't get it wrong. AI is the future. It's just some of these haven't, you know, met met the met the stuff yet. Like they're they're moving as fast as they can. Well, humans as fast as they can. AI can take off at any given even second. AI is amazing. We'll look at more though. I guess we won't. It's not letting us. But we're just gonna keep scrolling down. We're gonna keep scrolling down the page here. Interpretation of earnings conference calls. Nice. Look at that. Earning calls are public, scrutinized by experts, where the management provides relatively authentic, unembellished information about regulatory frameworks. If an investor could only read one document, I'd suggest diving into the summary of earnings conference calls. The inquiry model. After process Processing the entire text, suggestive questions are generated based on these. We can blah blah. Mind map module. Uh, precisely provide original text references. Automated analysis. Risk summary. Key answer. Analysis sentiment strategies. And then, as to finish what we were saying, follow up. Further questions are posed. Really cool stuff here. I mean, like, just look. Just look at this. Just look at the. Sorry about that. Look at the. Uh, can I? Can I blow this up? I can't. Look at the cross analysis. Look at the data. Look at the information. This is awesome. This is so cool. Classified reading and inquiry 
of financial reports. And there's just so many actionable insights to take from this. Like, if you see something going a certain way, then you can use common sense to say, well, based off of all the information gathered and multiple sources in X, Y, and Z, I can predict to a certain degree that X, Y, or Z is going to happen. And you, you know, for example, Meta up 20%. Uh, just, 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 just an insight, you know? Turnover rate with a 1.12%. Okay, I might want to factor that in. But their volume is so massive. But then you come down to Amazon. And Amazon dwarfs that volume with a lower turnover rate, but a less change in percent. So there's just things to consider. Slow and steady or heavy and fast, you know? Questions about financial reports, 10Q, 10K, 8K, 6K. Quickly find out data and facts you care about in lengthy financial documents. Income statement balance sheet cash flow ratios. Four tables, all of which can compare data from the same period, making it easier for users to calculate depth values money three fundamental rankings quickly highlight standout companies and ceos as we have saw earlier through comparing controversiality i didn't even know that was a word influence and competitiveness if 10 companies daily prove worth discovering and studying it's already plenty for most polarizing companies influential ceos and competitive ceos oh yeah oh yeah look at that right there look at that chart look at that Ooh, look at that competitive radar very nice so we're just gonna push buttons here calls and reports Oh, look at that. We can find calls and reports for like, uh, let's find something we know here. A company that we know. Oh, you need to sign in. Blast. They see they're not officially official yet. I try to sign in, but it doesn't let me. But that's okay. They still have really cool stuff here. As soon as they come online, I mean, they're featured on Product Hunt with 100. Let me try logging in again. Oh, yeah, we got it. We're in there. Okay, so you can't sign in with Google, but you can sign in by making, uh, obviously, supplying your email and a password for your new account. They just don't have us verified for Google yet. So we're in. We are in. Get free five honeys, uh, five free honeys, honey credit my money okay whoa not what i wanted to do i just wanted to see the stuff i just wanted to use the tools look at that oh we're in with the data we have hacked the system mainframe captain let's look let's look at some calls and reports for a company that we know there we go nice nice what are the three i don't know i don't know this company i'm not gonna pretend like i do i'm gonna find a company i know and i'm gonna talk to you about it Airbnb. I know of Airbnb. Airbnb Q3 2023. Big words. What were the positive business highlights during the quarter? Excellent. Look at that. And I can also change it up here. I can change it up. Let's let's ask. What were the what were they? Oh, and it costs honey. Look at that right there. That's cool. Strong financial performance. Airbnb reported revenue of 3.4 billion and 18% increase. Now, now here's another thing I want to show you, just so you don't get completely lost. I'm gonna wait for it to get done because it's taking some time. Mind map. That's cool. Ooh, oh yeah. Airbnb, NASDAQ on Airbnb with the QT 2023 ECT. Sentiment, confident about, worried about, nice, nice. Focus on internal marketing strategies, risks and opportunities, at risk, analysis, questions, product and market related questions, other questions. This is nice. Key numbers. Stock purchase, night growth. Night growth is pretty nice. Revenue, net income, adjusted net income, and free cash flow. Summary, Airbnb Q3 earnings, Q3 results, strong Q3, Airbnb. Ah, oh, here we go. Nice. This is the summary right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go back to the chat. So let's just take this. Let's just take, let's take this because the, copy this. Oh, I just want to show you something here. We're going to create a new chat in ChatGPT. And we're going to say, search the web. And I typed in, what were the positive business highlights during the quarter? All of this in regard to Airbnb Q3 2023 right here on ChatGPT. Uh, that's a lot of, a lot of E. Look at that. Oh, and look at that. It has the same exact marking in 18%. Wild. Look at that. 3.4 billion on 18%. 3.4 billion on 18%. You can get this information for free. Except, well, ChatGPT4, the version that costs money, is uh, $20 a month. But that's okay. Don't worry. I'm the AI guy. Let's go over to Google Bard, where it is, in fact, free. And we're just going to we're going to copy the first prompt, which is what I asked to ChatGPT, and hit it right there. Oh, yeah. Search the web. What were the positive business highlights during the quarter? All of this in regard to Airbnb Q3 2023. ECT. <laughs> <laughs> mm, a little different there. Actually, no, 3.4 billion on reflecting on an 18% year over year increase. So it's the same information. You can find the information for free online. But in regards to this, I will give it credit. It is nice and organized, very neat, and it already provides you with the questions to ask. Of course, if you are into finance and stocks and things of that nature, you will probably already know to ask these questions, but I will give it credit. It is a nice organized thing. The very, it is, it is very well put together. Yes. You can dive down the rabbit hole of this. Opportunity increase with a plus 44. Where's the risks? Where's the risks? Oh, plus 44 things. That thing. Okay. The risk increase increase plus 20. I bet you didn't even know that it undertook no obligation to update its information. How could you not know? How could you not know? So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for uh, BBAI. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good one. Just diving through the, the last of these little uh, things on the side here. You can check the news on it. Um, 
You can check the rankings with the AI score. You can find the chart in here. You can see it's got a got a pretty rating source, total Twitter views, total Reddit views. That's pretty good. That's pretty actionable. Let's go to the chart. Not bad. A little freaking downtick right there. Ouch for Pfizer. But that's expected. Positive sentiment surrounding Pfizer. Negative posts. One user expresses concern about the potential connection between COVID vaccines and heart failure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, BBAI, that's going to wrap it up right there. I just It's pretty straightforward. It's just a huge summary of all the financial analysis of public companies. Pretty straightforward. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give it the upvote. I'll give it the upvote. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That's uh, That means a lot to me. And I just wish you the best day ever. If you would, please go ahead, leave a like on this video because I put a lot of effort into these. I like kind of being energetic. I like providing you all this value, things that you may not have known if you're a teacher, if you're a business person, if you did blah, 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 all this other stuff. Average Joe that just needs to know about how to go and get involved with AI, get involved with tech, know what tech is going, know the trends, know the way that this is, technology is advancing so that you can be on the forefront, the tip of the spear in terms of being informed. You are absolutely incredible and I appreciate every second of your time. Go ahead and subscribe for more. Smash that subscribe button so I can go ahead and continue to provide you energetic, awesome, powerful video. Once again, I deeply appreciate you watching. Thank you. Until the next one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. Peace.